alcohol is probably one of the most both misunderstood and most sort of abused sleep aids. And it obviously is not an aid at all. It's actually remarkably detrimental to sleep. You mistake sedation for sleep. Alcohol is a class of drugs that we call the sedatives. And, and sedation isn't sleep. It's very different. Now, when you drink heavily and you sort of, you know, you fall asleep, I'm not going to argue that you're awake. You're clearly not awake. But to say that you've gone into naturalistic sleep is an equal falsehood you simply have sedated your cortex. The other two problems with alcohol, it firstly will fragment your sleep. So you will wake up many more times throughout the night. So you sort of, if I were to show you your sleep graph with alcohol, it's just sort of peppered, littered with these awakenings. And a lot of those awakenings you're not aware of, there may be just sort of two or three seconds, and then your brain tries to go back in and reclaim its cycle, and then you back up again. So you don't commit them to memory. So you wake up the next day and you feel lousy, but you don't remember anything bad about your sleep. You don't remember waking up. So you don't think it was the alcohol. You just think, I don't know why I don't feel good, but I'm having a bad day. That's the second problem with alcohol. The third one is that alcohol will actually block your dream sleep, what we call rapid eye movement sleep, which is essential for lots of different operations, including emotional and mental health. So alcohol should be avoided, you know, the notion of a nightcap even. I would love to embrace that and, and, you know, deeply unpopular for saying it, but I'm just here to describe the science and the data that we know of and then people can make an informed choice. But alcohol is not the sleep aid that people think, unfortunately.